in this module you will know how functionalism needed sexual oppositions it needed for division of work that work can be mental that work can be social that work can be physical so all these fall under the term division of labor who does what and where this is division of labor and uh, actually when we talk about functionalism it entails it results in division of labor in some careers or in some professions division is gendered it is based on sex it is based on the person is male or female for other oriented jobs for example other oriented means the jobs in which the person takes care of others their needs their emotions and wants to have relationships with them as uh, has some a uh, concern for other and their needs so that person is known as other oriented and usually females are regarded as other oriented so it's such in such careers and jobs where other orientedness is required female are preferred women can function well in such cases because they are emotional and caring now to think more on this we will discuss a task and you will do it on your own explain which of the following jobs are more suitable for men and which are suitable for women teacher nurse police officer judge air hostess and sales person etc continuing the same talk after this task you will definitely have some additional thinking about this what i am talking about gender division of labor that is based on sexes this division of labor leads to division of status and power this is the result of this division and other division is created and this time this division relates with status and power in most cultures public jobs with power are open to men women are confined to domestic non public private job and uh, in as a result of this they can't go to public spheres and the whole public sphere is left to men men become more powerful they have access to influential and powerful positions and roles in society and women being at home are deprived of that domestic duties keep them away from public sphere because they have time pressure they have routine work and they have to do that every woman for example in a middle class a woman has to clean the whole yard in the morning clean the floors and sometimes has to clean the kitchen and then have to prepare breakfast for the whole family and then she dresses up children for schools and sometimes she has to uh, take them to the school and all the uh, all the day she remains busy according to a set routine and this whole routine takes her lot of time and that time consumption keeps her away from the public sphere of life this division of functions is justified on the basis of biological limitations for example it is thought that they can't do those things which men can do and this is biologically impossible for them women are made particularly they are suitable for child bearing and child nursing for motherhood in other words for reproductive functions but men are good for fatherhood 
they can take care, they can earn bread for the family, and they can do all the hard work for the family and also contribute to the society through their important activities outside home. Sometimes this division is division of work on the basis of sex. Sometimes it is justified on the basis of strength. For example, men, they can work in uh, wood labs, they can work uh, in metal uh, labs, uh, they can uh, work in military, they can uh, work as engineers. So all these hard jobs can be performed by men. Women can sell flowers. It is usually thought. They are delicate. They have less strength. So they can do such job. They can work as a teacher, as a cleric, or as a salesperson. All those jobs where strength is not required. But if we don't talk about whether a person is male or female, we just focus on strength. So it is quite possible that these differences, these divisions are balanced. If we just focus on strength, so there can be both male who are strong, and there can also be equally females who are strong. To conclude this talk about division of labor, that is result of functionalism, and functionalism is result of sex oppositions. We come to know that sex-based division of work, what is done by whom in society, this is something universal. It happens in all society. But how it happens, it varies from society to society.